What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. We're, we're back at it with another Monday Ramble. Um, I got to shave. I'm still patchy. But, you know, uh, got to see where it is. Got to let it grow out a little bit to see where you got to continue to shave and stuff like that, I guess. Um, <laughs> I never thought I'd even, you know, have like the beginnings of a beard and stuff like that. I always thought because of... Uh, you know, genetics or whatever that I'd never get one. So just got to continue to shave, stuff like that. But uh, that had nothing to do with it. But hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, I finally got some sprouters there in the garden. Oh, man, I like gardening's fun, you know, uh, get get our son involved and stuff like that. Um, you know, make sure that we're being responsible in watering these plants. You know what I mean? It, it's not that hard. It's, you know, we just had to make sure we had something to prevent any animals, small critters or anything like that from going in there and then making sure the water, water the plants, make sure some of them have the correct amount of space, you know, because um, sometimes when these plants come too close together, they're not able to uh, take in like proper nutrition and stuff like that. They're not gonna grow correctly, right? And sometimes like so us humans, right, it needs, uh, a certain amount of space in order for it to continue to grow and things like that right and <clears throat> we got to continue to water ourselves water our bodies and stuff like that right and you know this this comes that I, I wanted to have a more healthy discussion i guess for this this uh this monday ramble so uh almost like the plants you know human beings need the need more water in their their uh, diets and stuff like that right um i know I'm pretty bad at, uh, especially recently, at um, taking in more pops than I should, right? More pops, more juices, more uh, things that aren't water, right? Um, uh, it's, you know, even like these mixed drinks, these mixed sports drinks or uh, things that are said to uh, kind of like not replace water but help like take a uh, hold in water, kind of like a liquid IV, let's say that, right? Which is pretty good, but I guess when it comes down to it, it always seems like uh, when something's mixed into the water, when we consume it, that uh, it's not necessarily a good thing, right? And that uh, we can't, we shouldn't stray too far from uh, just dr taking in water in general, right? T taking it, making sure that you take water in uh, by itself. Uh, without being mixed with anything, without being any of that. Um, I guess there's differences when, you know, like when you use like more natural ingredients, like uh, at work recently they had mint and cucumbers and they just threw it in the water so that it would flavor the water, you know? My, my family would do that too. They'd have the pitcher with, uh, in the middle you put like fruits or whatever in there, uh, whatever flavor you wanted. Usually it was fruits, a lot of fruits and uh <clears throat> fill it with water and the, the water would take in uh, a lot of those flavorings from the fruits and things like that, right? And, uh, you know, uh, fruits full of like antioxidants and various things like that, right? Um, there are like, you do want to take in some certain salts for, uh, you know, uh, helping you retain uh, water, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, I'm not saying cut out these things entirely because they all have their functions, but the thing is, maybe got to start taking in that thing by itself, right? Uh, I know sometimes some, to some people, water tastes horrible, right? Water sucks or whatever. Water sucks. <laughs> it really, really sucks, but um, <clears throat> it's not a bad practice. My son, it's funny because my son, he'd rather have water than anything else, man. It's I laugh sometimes, but it's not funny because he's like, he gets a brain freeze from eating something cold or whatever. Then he's like, give me some water. It'll help me feel better. And it's like, I don't know if that's how it works because the water's cold. But he, he, seem, he seems to think it works for him. So I don't say nothing, but I just chuckle. And then, you know, like, why are you laughing? I'm like, no, no reason. Uh, I was like, I understand if it was like warm water or something. But, um, but anyways, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm super glad that he likes water more than the average four-year-old, you know, he, he's always just been that kind of kid that uh, drinks a lot of water. He eats his vegetables. He loves his veggies. He loves, you know, eating eggs. He loves, he prefers the healthier things, which is odd, you know. Uh, 
Sometimes when he has candy, he'll be like, eh, I don't want no more, Dad. It's not making me feel good. I need some water. I need some, you know, I want some broccoli. I want some carrots and stuff like that. And it's like, dude, man, this is awesome. That's cool. Because usually um, a lot of parents, they talk about how hard it is to get their kids to eat those things, right? And sometimes, uh, this is my personal opinion now, all right? This, we're going to get into the realm of Travis's crazy rambles or Cloud Slayer's crazy rambles, right? Um, and it's, a, it's more of a theory of my own opinion, right? That uh, a lot of times I see, I seen growing up that, these, you know, my aunts or whoever, you know, insert name here or insert relation here. Um, they were, when they were trying to make their kids eat veggies, um, they weren't eating them at the same time, right? They wouldn't take them in. They'll be trying to, you got to eat your vegetables. And then they turn around, not eat vegetables, uh, not drink water, slam it pop. No, pop, pops for adults. You, you can't have it. You know what I mean? And uh, I think that's where a lot of it is, uh, goes wrong for some people, right? And I'm not slamming everybody. Some people could be uh, taking in vegetables, taking in water, taking in uh, these healthier whole foods, right? Uh, with their children, and the children still don't want it. It's a possibility. And, you know, but... <clears throat> And I'm sure it happens, but it's just that my own, in my own opinion, uh, when I seen it when I was growing up, right? And that's one of the main reasons why, for myself personally, I didn't like those things when I was younger, right? Um, because I, did, I seen that they didn't like it. But I remember this one time, uh, you know, my mom would always pick off like the veggies off of her stuff, get mad if somebody forgot to keep the onions on there because she... She just doesn't like onions. She has like a weird reaction to onions, right? Which is, you know, you, you're allergic to something. Obviously, don't eat it, right? I'd be pissed too if you asked for that. But, you know, if they were busy, I understand. You know, it's a mistake. It, it happens, right? I, I worked in a food place and I messed up on people's orders. It happens. You, all you can do is apologize and remake it, right? Uh, that's, I'm sorry. That's my mistake. Whatever. You move on. And... So, but anyways, she would pick those things off. So I, I, I just did it, not knowing for whatever reason why they were being picked off, just for simply because I didn't like them, right? Because I didn't want to eat them. And then uh, we had this lady, my parents, uh, we ended up going to daycare to try to interact more with kids before school and stuff like that too. So we would go to uh, um, daycare in the mornings and... <clears throat> Freaking the lady would make us food and she would like sneak the vegetables in there, right? Mix them in into the food and stuff like that. Never knew it. She was she always making like really healthy food, great food. Her name was Jana. She had this awesome like uh timber wolf, you know, mix dog, uh named Moni. Uh great dog. She would do anything to protect anybody. She was getting old. Uh, I forgot where I said she moved, but I think she was in like North Dakota or something. But at uh, this time, it's Minnesota, right? And uh, probably one of the greatest ladies I know in my life, right? And um, stuff like that. But um, I remember we were eating a burger, and which was rare for them because you know she she would do her best to try to save as much money as possible, right? As much money as possible. And uh, that would be home cooking, right? Home cooking so that everybody can get an adequate amount of food. Um, and, you know, don't break the bank because, as we know nowadays, you can go fast food and spend 70 bucks on three people. And all you did was eat. You didn't even get dessert sometimes, you know? So it, it's, it's getting outrageous. It's getting outrageous. Um, I know, like, if we're on trips, I'll, I'll bite the bullet and, uh, go buy, you know, some fast food or something if if I don't want to stop. If beef jerky's outrageous, because <laughs> beef jerky's getting out there too. But, um, you know, stuff like that. So, or I'll just go without. But uh, regardless, uh, my family, they, they want to eat or something. So, you know, they let's get something to eat, man. You ain't going to tell them no. Um, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, we had, she, we had this burger. And I remember I was picking off the tomatoes and stuff like that and she was like what are you doing like why are you picking off those tomatoes Trav 
And I'm like, uh, because I don't know, I don't, I don't like them. They're mushy. They're, uh, you know, this, that, or another thing. And then, uh, you know, she, she was like, I, I can't I remember how old I was. Probably like four, four or five. So about this, my son's age, right? Um, right before school. So, but she was like, you gotta, you should eat those vegetables. That, that vegetable, you know, is doing its best. To, uh, you know, <laughs> you know the the, the weird that that weird talk with nature type stuff. You know what I mean? Where the, the vegetable gave its life after growing um, to full maturity and all this stuff, and that it gives you full nutrients. And I was like, I don't know, but everybody else around me is picking these things off, right? And she was like, Why don't you go out and try it and see? Like to me, she said, it sounds like you don't like it because other people don't like it. And I'm like, and I remember being a little kid, and I'm like, maybe she's right, <laughs> you know? So, but I was like, uh, all right, I'll give it a try, just because, you know, I had, I had a lot of respect for this woman. I, uh, you know, she was, she was one of the nicest ladies out there, and I knew, like, she would never lead anybody wrong. That's how I, you know, because she had my, all my trust, you know what I mean? Um, just because... Um, you know, you go through life and there's a lot of people where they're in these positions, but you don't trust them necessarily that you know, you, you know, and you feel that they're not doing it for the reason that you think they should be doing it right. That out of the love for it and that they care for their job, that they care for the kids that they're taking care of. Uh, but with this lady, you knew that she cared. You know, that's how I, I, I just felt it. I felt it. I knew it. The reaction spoke louder than any words could ever speak, right? And so I did that, and, it, you know, it's been history since. I've been not giving shit about <laughs> what other people say about vegetables and that. I start, you know, I'll eat them any opportunity that I get. Um, you know, even sometimes I make just dishes with just the veggies, you know, uh, for my son and I, so which is rather enjoyable. It's easy. All you do is really cut it up, unless if you want to cook it, you know? Like, if you want to boil up some carrots and stuff like that, you want to throw some butter on some Brussels sprouts and a little bit of, you know, kosher salt or some shit. Um, it's, you know, there's real simple recipes with veggies that you can make it taste a little bit better if you don't like to just you know, eat a plain and, or raw or anything like that, you know, uh, there is a lot of studies saying that, like, if you cook, like, green beans or some of these vegetables, that they lose a lot of these nutrients that our bodies crave, but there's also studies that say if you overconsume these products as, uh, when they're raw, you know, your body can be taking in uh, bad, bad things too, so, uh, because, they're almost like anything else in life, right? Or in this world or anything that can be consumed that too much of even a good thing can be a bad thing, right? Uh, you can over drink in water. Uh, of course, if you, unless you're peeing like a racehorse, you know, unloading that bladder and stuff like that, then, you know, uh, it's, it's going to build up and uh, rupture something, you know, inside the body. But <clears throat> there's, uh, you know, awesome things like that. So that was my cool little story that I had with veggies and my own experience with, you know, getting a kid to eat the veggies. And it wasn't like, I, I just, I thought it was going to be a horror story. I thought it was going to be uh, very tough um, to have my son like that stuff, to uh, get him to have any sort of veggies or anything that one would deem healthy, right? So sometimes, and like I said, at the beginning of this rant that uh, it's my own personal opinion that, uh, you know, you could be eating these things, you could be uh, whatever, you know, uh, trying to do this with your child and they simply don't want to do it. So now uh, there's that possibility. This is just my experience that, um, you know, I, I, I help, I, I try to incorporate that early on with my son and that it worked, you know, it worked just fine. Um, and his mom doesn't really, like, she doesn't eat this stuff like that, right? But my son, you know, like, it comes down to him, too, that he enjoys this stuff, too, you know? So I don't know. I know that sometimes when you have one parent that's eating, 
uh, correctly, as one would say, and the other one's choosing to not eat like that, then, you know, sometimes the kid can go towards that way. And, you know, my son could go down that way. Who knows? You know, he, he could be, uh, tomorrow he can decide just like that, that he chooses to eat differently, right? But it's my job's not to think about that or any of that jazz. It's about, um, you know, do my best to keep them thinking about these things and uh, wanting to eat those things instead of uh, something that, you know, like candy or whatever, you know, candy, uh, pizzas, all that kind of stuff. Like, I'm not pooping on pizza neither because I like pizza. I love me some pizza, but uh, in moderation, right? Try not to eat it as often. Um, I remember when I was younger, you know, that's a lot of my diet is eating a bunch of crap food because it's easier because I'm tired because of this or that. But the reality was this, right? That I didn't, I didn't have anybody to really cook for and I was just lazy. I was lazy. I was drinking, drugging, and uh, I had money and I didn't want to, I didn't want to cook, right? So the easiest thing for me was just to buy crap, right? And uh, the thing is, like, most of the time, I only really got <laughs> meals, like, once every payday, you know? Like, those dollar burgers jumped around when I was, especially when I was drinking heavily. Uh, but I would also just load up on ramen noodles most of the time and then, uh, you know, buy all the booze. I'd get my, you know, I'd keep, most of my money all only went to booze. Uh, $20 in the gas tank and stuff like that. But I mean, this is at this time, you're only making $10 an hour when I was a kid, right? Uh, when I was a younger man, I should say. I was, I was a grown man still and stuff like that. So, uh, but my pri priority shift was that. Um, booze, ramen noodles, and uh, when I could afford it, uh, you know, little dollar burgers, uh, like six of them uh, for that day. And then I had to wait till the next pay period to <laughs> get some more food. So that's, that was my shitty uh, paycheck to paycheck portion of my life, right? It was It's all self-inflicted because I'd rather drink and party or have a good time, do drugs and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I chose not to be healthy and that's going to have an effect on my body, especially later on. I mean, it's still... I say it affects my body, but I'm also, you know, 32 years old. So I'm not that old, but uh, for years I didn't have the healthiest, healthiest, uh, healthiest lifestyle, right? Because I chose to do drugs, because I chose to, you know, drink alcohol, uh, a bunch of booze and uh, prioritize that over my health, over uh, eating good foods for myself, taking vitamins and stuff like that, right? And... Uh, you know, one day, maybe one day it'll uh, affect me, maybe not. Maybe I got just in time just to uh, make my health a little bit better, right? Um, yeah, so uh, I hope I hope everybody has a great week, rest of their week. And uh, um, I was going to shoot a, another workout video this, this week, but I think I'm just going to go to the gym and then, uh, you know, work out there. So... I, didn't, I ran, I don't really have any ideas for working out. I know I'm real sore. I went, <laughs> I had, um, maybe I'll do one of those, like uh, heavy bag work day or something like that. I'm no, I'm no boxer or anything like that, but I do like to work on things on the heavy bag. I've posted shorts before and stuff like that. Check those out if you want to, but uh, I'm not, I'm not that good, right? But I do enjoy doing that. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I like work on different com different combos and uh, do do workouts regarding to that because it pushes you way differently than uh, using weights, right? Uh, so if you guys wanna if you guys wanna see one of those video type of videos, uh, let me know. So uh, I'll do one of those. If not, you know, I'll just I'll just do them privately. I uh, most of my workouts are private. So, but anyways, have a great one, guys. Peace.